there be peace and love among all beings of the universe, let there be peace, let there be peace. Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. Namaskar, Namaskar. <coughs> Again, the questions have been asked about how this universe comes out of emptiness. Many people have again asked this question. So first of all, I will attend to these queries if anyone is really understanding it. But again, short while, I may tell you, If you carve an image into the rock, before the image is carved, the rock had this capability to hold this image, even before the image has been carved. It had a natural capability into the rock for the creation of this image whatsoever, like we have a necklace, a gold necklace. And this necklace is made out of the gold. And this gold has inherent nature to be carved, to be brought into any shape before the necklace is made. When necklace is made, then, even then, the gold and the necklace are together. The necklace is carved out of the gold. Gold is not made out of the necklace. It had inherent nature of the gold. You can bring it into any shape. It is not going to lose its goldness. Likewise, this consciousness, emptiness, whatever it is, it can take any shape, whatever you think, whatever it thinks, so does it become. This universe which we think is billions of years old, that's they say. Billions of years old. Time, past, present, future. It took millionth of, of a second, millionth of a second for this creation, preservation, destruction of this universe, in this millionth of a second, many times it turns again and again without losing its emptiness. Again the Kalpas and the Yugas will come, stay, <coughs> and dissolve. Like as you go to sleep, in a wink of a nap, you find yourself in Washington. Hmm. Wink of sleep, sleeping in a hotel in Lucknow. How did you travel that far? The buildings, men, vehicles, then the oceans that you crossed, where have you produced in this instant of time? Likewise, the same dream 
the consciousness creates this universe without losing its own nature it is the inherent nature of the ocean to create waves waves may be there or not there ocean doesn't lose anything if there are no waves and doesn't get anything doesn't gain anything when there are plenty of waves in it and not troubled the waves coming out of me will empty me this ocean it will remain in ocean like this emptiness and consciousness it will never be disturbed so there is no question of this multiplicity and unity there is no difference and no such thing as multiplicity and unity in the gold you may carve anything from the gold its goldness is not lost consciousness <coughs> is not lost the question was why this creation has been created to give trouble <coughs> to all these beings who stay in it this looks to be a very sane question why god has created <coughs> this universe to give trouble to so many people we have to see what is the trouble now you go into the forest you see a stump of tree in the darkness and you think that it is some decoit rubber and it is going to attack on you <coughs> with the close reasoning if you find out it was merely a tree where does this robber came out of the tree how does it come how fear arises in you and then you scarred it it's a bandit is going to attack on you going to rob you going to kill you where does all these things come it means that you were not aware therefore the rope looked like a snake the snake was never present and you merely because of your ignorance because of darkness you called it a snake and fear arose there has been no snake at all on close investigation you find there was no snake on very close investigation you are going to investigate in the consciousness where does this universe abide looking closely like the snake it's going to disappear as you experience every day when you go to sleep where does it disappear vast number of beings where do they disappear all at once within a blink of an eye they disappear past present future disappear on close investigation you will find never did anything arise and this is the ultimate truth without knowing this your troubles are not going to end where ever there is duality there is trouble where there are two there is fear where there is oneness there is no problem 
Hence, you have to investigate here and now without any postponement. Who am I right now? Then you are going to your inherent nature of your own beingness, of your own peace, <coughs> happiness, eternity. And this you are going to do it here and now. It has to be done. One should decide because whatever you decide, it is done. Whatever you think, it is done. It is due to your postponement or not seriousness that you are troubled. Actually, who is troubled? Find out. Who is troubled? Just investigate. Ask yourself. When you are in trouble, ask yourself who is in trouble. Neither the body will speak, I am in trouble, because when you sleep, the body is not in trouble at all. No one will agree, I am in trouble. Ask to any limb, one by one, because this is inert, body is inert, it cannot get into any trouble. Ask your mind, mind also is inert. Look at the mind, and mind also is not in trouble because the same mind in sleep is no mind. Intellect also is not in trouble. Then who is in trouble? This is only your imagination. I am in trouble and so you get into trouble and I am happy so you get happy. I am bound, you are bound. I suffer, you suffer. I am free, so you are free. Here, you don't agree. I suffer, you very well agree, yes. You are suffering, yes, very much. If I say you are free, from the beginning you are free, then then a lot of trouble, you see. <laughs> no, I, I am not free. I am not happy. Here, you don't agree. I am confused. For sake of happiness, everybody is confused. Everybody agrees, yes, 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 I suffer. We all suffer. <laughs> we, everybody is suffering. And on the basis of suffering, the religions have been started on account of suffering. You have to suffer. Hells have been created because of those sufferers. The sufferers have got to go to hell for further suffering. And this is the teaching of the religions. <laughs> you have to suffer, you have to sin, therefore you will go to hell. That's all. Who has seen the hell, first of all? Nobody is there to tell you there is no suffering. It's only imagination of the mind. Don't agree. You cannot suffer. <coughs> if you ask yourself, nobody will agree. Ask the body. Body is inert. Flesh, bone, blood, marrow. Bone is not going to tell you I am suffering, nor the skin, nor the blood. What else is the body? Nor the senses. Hand will not say I am suffering. Nor the legs. Inert. Mind also inert, you see. Where is the mind? Who has seen the mind? Simply you call ghost, there is a ghost. Mind, 
there is mind. So all is your imaginations. Read yourself of this imagination by only one single question, who am I? This question has to be solved by every human being. And this is the chance. This is the reward that the nature has given you this dress of a human being. The rest dresses you have already worn and rejected. So this beautiful incarnation, God the incarnation, has to be respected, adored. And it is to win freedom from this hallucination, imagination that you have been suffering. So that is the end. <laughs> Om.